Excess carbon dioxide emissions create a more acidic ocean. This impacts the health of our oceans and the animals in it. But each of us can take steps for healthy ocean ecosystems. Understanding can help us choose our next steps. To help build our understanding, let's start by looking at how ocean animals form their shells. Shells of animals, like oysters, are formed primarily of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is formed when calcium ions bind with carbonate molecules. Ocean acidification begins with excess carbon dioxide emissions. Excess carbon dioxide is produced when fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas are burned for industry, automobiles, and homes and businesses. Burning releases heat, water, and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide mixes into the air and a lot of it is absorbed into the ocean. In the ocean, carbon dioxide combines with water to form carbonic acid. Carbonic acid breaks down easily into bicarbonate molecules and hydrogen ions. Calcium and bicarbonate cannot bind together to form shells. Carbonate that could combine with calcium to make shells binds more easily with the hydrogen ions like those formed during the breakdown of carbonic acid. Let's review. In a healthy ocean, carbonate is taken from the water and combined with calcium to form the shells of many animals. But in an acidic ocean, the abundance of hydrogen ions bind with the carbonate and prevent shell formation. Animals, like these oysters, and those that depend on them for food and habitat, will be affected if they cannot easily form their shells. The changes could affect people too by changing how quickly organisms grow and build coastal barriers that reduce storm damage, and by causing changes in the food we can gather and grow in the world's ocean. Does this story of where carbon dioxide comes from and how it has an impact on our oceans lead you to new ideas about things you can do? We hope you will talk about your ideas with your family and friends.